Welcome back to the channel, guys and gals. Uh, in case y'all are wondering what you're looking at, you are looking at Queen Elizabeth, also known as a Class 35 Heimic locomotive. Uh, of course, it is pulling the Grand Trunk Western car and one caboose. That's about all she can pull as she is stands right now without the new motor truck underneath her. So, my son and I got to kind of horsing around a little bit, and we wanted to see about using some of this old 027 straight track. Now, as y'all recall, I did buy this lot last year. Uh, I want to say around September, October. I only paid $3 for it. came out of a barn, and I've been cleaning it up and doing some other stuff with it. But just wanted to see if we could incorporate it into the O-Gauge track and expand the layout. So that, we, that way we make use of everything that is but without it going like over even though i'm going to stick with the minority's track mostly and we have the biggest section right here i'll be putting that down on the board uh so that's up to level which will be like a i think it's a quarter inch board i have to do some measuring on it but i think it's a quarter inch we got one end right over here as you can see i have some little felt pads up underneath it just to kind of cushion it we have one of the Menards 10 inch sections right here which is one of the modified ones as y'all recall from an earlier video I went in and hand laid every railroad tie and cut every railroad tie there all the way back into here As you can see, every tie has been hand laid and put in. Hand cut, hand laid. And I know y'all saw some of the short videos of that. Yeah, my grandson's toy. So, let's go ahead and start up the Heimick and let's follow her around for a minute. I hope you're feeling good, Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Yep. I do run 096 curves just because some of my rolling stock is very large and a lot of it's scratch built. And believe it or not, Rogue is actually working on wiring up some lights because we're going to wind up putting some lights on Hollis Castle Station and we're going to light up the inside of it. Kids, gotta love them, especially when they start jumping over everything. But this is all nothing more than just an experiment to see how it's going to work. Let's see how, how good we can use it. That Class 35 Heimlich from trying, she was never really designed to pull anything heavy. Again, once the new motor blocks come in, then the modifications will start. And at that point, then I'll start with the paint and uh, other details with her. It actually does pretty good for a battery operated little locomotive. And it's pulling a Menards boxcar, which is heavier than the coach or some of the other cars it came with. The one thing that I do find with this 027 is that I've had an issue with is like uh, some of the pins on it. I've had to modify it so it will connect up to this uh, O-gauge track. So that definitely causes us from issues sometimes, but I mean, it's nothing you can't do. Uh, you know, like tips and tricks, I said, put a spacer under it, and it'll match up just fine.
think that whistle's a little way off. Too low key, needs to be higher. British British locomotives have a very high whistle. Don't ask me what brought that up. Eventually, all the Menard, all the Menards track will have the uh, quarter by quarter, quarter by quarter square stock installed underneath it. Every piece of it. That's a lot to cut. All right, she should be coming around here in just a minute. As you can tell, it's got a little bit of a lip right there, but I'll be glad once the layout starts going up. As you can see, I got the little felt pads right there to help bring the track up on a gradual, nothing fast. So I was waiting for the train to come back around the corner there. I guess we could call this rail fanning at home, I guess. Let's see if we can't get uh, a little bit different running angle here. Maybe something just for fun. guys and gals we're going to try this just for fun okay so you're going to be seeing the hammock behind and keep it going so we'll just see what happens Oh, 
let's just drink a little bit over here. <laughs> all right so that was pretty fun let's go with a different angle here all right let's give this try so you can see a forward shot like a little different shot this time That's a good cover. All right, guys, gals, that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to do a electric train and I'll get that filled. We'll see how that works out. Again, thank you to O Gauge Trains and Slot Cars for the inspiration for the castle. Uh, very, very nice guy. Y'all go look him up. Check him out. Check out his videos. Uh, he does some excellent running sessions. More than what I've got going on, but you know what? I mean, I find his layout very interesting. So, again, thank you, O-Gage Trains and Slot Cars. I will see y'all on the next video. Keep the shiny side up, rubber down. I'll see y'all then.